you're listening to is Flash Gordon Meets Buck Rogers in the 25th Century by Michael A. Graham and Jericho Kane. Every time I try to conquer and destroy the Earth, Flash Gordon always gets in the way. I must find a way to conquer the Earth and destroy it with Flash out of the way. My Lord Ming, it's done, my Lord. What is? Our time machine, my Lord. Ah, show me this time machine. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Good. General, set the time machine into the future. Which one, my lord? The one in which Flash Gordon is not in the way. How about 2491, my lord? 2491? Perfect. Lord Main Flash Gordon is coming. Quickly go, my lord. So long, General. planet Saturn. And I am Killer Kane. Who are you? I am from the planet Mongol, from the year 2022. And I am Ming, the Merciless. Ming's gotta be here somewhere. He must have escaped again, Flash. You know how he is. Yeah, I know, hon. I had my friends and troops cover all the exits to make sure he never escapes again. Ha 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 ha! You'll never catch my lord this time, Flash. Ha 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 ha! All right, General. Where is me? Where is Ming? Flash, please calm down. It's not where my lord is, it's when my lord is. My lord went through that time machine and now he's in 2491. 2491? Why would he be in the future? My lord Main wants to conquer and destroy the earth with you out of the way, Gordon. Ha 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 ha. Well, Ming is going to the future. I guess I have to go, too. Wait, Flash. I'm going with you, too. Honey, I don't think that's a good idea. It might be too dangerous in the future. I don't care, Flash. Remember the first time we met Ming? I thought he killed you while he was trying to make me one of his wives. Though I lost you once, I don't want to lose you again. Besides, I'm your wife. Wherever you go, I go. Okay, Dale, you win. But hold my hand. And here we go. Good lord. Oh dear. Look what Ming has done. Yeah, he slaughtered all these people, but what planet are we on? You two are on the planet Saturn, and I think it's best if you two keep your hands up. Whoa, easy sir. We don't want any trouble. Well, I don't want any trouble either. Just want to know who's responsible for all this. Buck! Killer Kane! What happened? What's wrong, Buck? 
I thought you liked to see me like this. No, I don't, Kane. I'd rather see you behind bars instead, where you belong. <clears throat> well, I'd rather be dead than in your galactic prison, but if you want to know who did this, he's bald with pointy ears and a long pointy beard. He called himself Ming the Merciless. He said he's from the planet Mongo from 2022, and he's here to conquer and destroy Earth. From 2022? Do me a favor, Buck. <coughs> Find this Ming <coughs> and avenge me. <laughs> what, what did you do? I, I, I'm getting better. I injected you with the healing gel. You just have minor injuries, nothing serious. Buddy! Yes, Buck. What is your order? Take Kane away and put him to our holding cell. My pleasure, Buck. All okay. Kane. Sir, please come with me, and don't try to escape. I will harm you by one squeeze of my hand. Buddy? I'm just warning you, Buck. All right, just take him away. Is that a robot? Yeah, that's Buddy, my android cadet. He is programmed to assist me whenever I need help. Anyway, you two are from Earth, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm also from the year 2022. Mind if I ask both your names? I'm Alex Flash Gordon, but friends call me Flash. And I'm Dale Arden Gordon, Flash's wife. Flash Gordon, former college quarterback and track runner? Yeah, that's right. I'm surprised you've heard of me, and you are? I am Anthony Buck Rogers, captain of the Galactic Alliance, but friends call me Buck. Buck Rogers? B. Buck Rogers, the former U.S. Force pilot who joined the U.S. Space Force with NASA, who also went up into space but never came back in 2018. Everybody thought you were dead. I used to be a journalist. That's right, ma'am. Wait, so you're from the past too? Yep, I was. When I flew into space, I thought I'd boldly go where no one has gone before. But sadly, I was lost, trapped in a cryostasis in space. I slept for 473 years. Anyway, under the circumstance, I suggest you two should come with me to my ship, the Searcher. Alright, let's go. After you, Captain. Please call me Buck. I really don't like that Captain crap, Gordon. Okay, let's just go. Welcome to my ship, the Searcher. Wow, this ship is amazing. What do you think, Flash? Well, it ain't no Millennium Falcon, but it's cool. The Millennium Falcon? <laughs> it's more like the Starship Enterprise to me, and I like it. So, you're a Trekkie. That's right. And you're a Star Wars fan? That's right, sir. Great, I'm with two sci-fi nerds, and I married one. You think that's bad? Try having one as your captain. Ah, Wilma. It's good to see you. Everyone, this is my first officer commander, Wilma Deering. Wilma, this is Buck Rogers and his wife, Dale Arden, from 2022 Earth. 2022? Are they friends of your time? No, I never met them. Although I have heard of Flash Gordon before, but I never met him. Flash Gordon? That name is familiar. I think we should meet with Professor. Good idea, Wilma. Oh, by the way, Buck, congrats on catching Killer Kane. I talked to the council. They're going to put him on trial soon. Good. That's one problem dealt with. Now there is this mean guy to deal with. <laughs> oh, green, Buck. Flash, Dale, and Dumba. I was talking to the Professor. The Professor? Where is he? Over here, I am Prof Hewer, an AIS, uh, Artificial Intelligence Scientist. So your scientists are AISs? Of course. A long time ago, they created AIs with emotions. They are very smart and can tell the difference between right and wrong. I am built to be highly intelligent, but I also teach people to follow their hearts, though I have none of my own. But I am portable by having Buddy here carry me wherever I want to go. And I would appreciate it if you get off my back about it. But I am not on your back, buddy. 
I am on this table. Have you been learning 21 century slang from Buck? Whatever, Professor. Buck, you and I may need to have a talk when this is over. <sighs> yes, Professor. And you, sir. You look familiar. What's your name? I'm Flash Gordon, and that's my wife, Dale Arden. Hi. Greetings, ma'am. So you're Flash Gordon. The real Flash Gordon. You've heard of him, Professor? All I heard about him is he's a former college quarterback and a track runner. I would have been a polo player, but who in America has ever heard of polo? Maybe rich people from Florida and New York? More than that. He is the king of the impossible, the savior of the universe. Back in 2019, Flash Gordon and Dale Arden went up into space. Doctors Hans Zarkov and they battled against the evil ruler from the planet Mongo, Ming the Merciless. Also, friends with all the aliens to fight against Bing. Yeah, the same Ming the Merciless who killed Killer Kane's men and almost killed Kane himself. What? Good lord, if Ming is in our time, then... The future is in grave danger, Mr. Gordon. You defeated Ming before, right? I defeated Ming in the past. I can defeat Ming in the future. Good to hear, and congratulations, Miss Arden. For being married to Flash? We've been married for like a year. No, for being expected. What? what? We'll find you there was something about... You didn't know, Mr. Gordon. Your wife is pregnant. Why don't you sit down and relax? I'll go get you something to drink. Thank you, Wilma. Dale, why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Well, I was going to tell you when this mission is over. Besides, that's another reason why I decided to go with you. I don't want you to die not knowing that you're going to become a dad. Dale, I love you so much, but I will be very careful this time. I got a message that Ming is attacking us. Buck, you and Flash should team up. Work together to stop Ming once and for all and bring him back into his time. Me? Team up with him? I'm sorry, Professor, but I am not teaming up with him. I think it's best if he stays here with his wife. I would have agreed with him, but you don't know anything about Ming like I do. Yeah, but... Trust me, Buck. I know how to deal with him. <sighs> Alright, Flash, you're with me. Along with you, Wilma, and you, buddy. Alright, time to rock and roll! But Buck, who will stay and watch over Dale? Oh, and Dale, here is your water. Ah, thank you, Wilma. Yeah, good idea, Wilma. You don't mind if you stay here and keep an eye on Mrs. Arden? Once this time, I don't mind, Buck. Going through battles and missions with you, Buddy, and the Professor. So I'm going to stay here with Dale. Alright, let's go. I've decided to stay here. Just in case if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. I mean, I can go to one, one of Buck's missions without the professor. Captain Rogers? I mean, Buck, can I have a word with you? Yes, ma'am? Can you make a promise for me? Of course, what is it? Promise you'll bring my man back alive. Sorry, ma'am, that's not one of my options. Buck! <laughs> Don't worry, Dell. I won't let him die. Not on my watch. Thank you, Buck. Shh! <laughs> Well, after you, Han Solo. Thank you, Captain Kirk. Actually, I'm more of a Captain Picard guy myself. He's a much better captain to me. Okay, let's go. You know, Dale, you're a very lucky woman. Ending up with a guy like that. Why, thank you, Wilma. What about you and Buck? Sadly, no. Buck and I were boyfriend and girlfriend for a while, until we decided to stay friends. Besides, he's too busy flirting with alien women he meets. Oh, is he in a relationship with him? Or is it just for one night? Can't think of it. No. I seen him on a date with them, but he never went any further. I think he still likes you. It's just he never shows it. Flash was like that in a way. One time Ming had a daughter named Princess Ara. When Ming tried to make me one of his wives, Ara wanted Flash all for herself. Really? What happened? Ara tried her best to win Flash's heart, even forced Flash to love her. But he still loves me, no matter what, and has saved my life from me. And what happened to Princess Aura? She is happily married to Prince Barn, who became Flash's friend, along with Prince Voltan, against Ming. So Flash makes friends with aliens from other planets? 
Yes, he teaches everyone that they don't have to live under Ming's control, that they can fight back for their planets. That sounds like Buck to me. He's always making friends with aliens and battling against rulers like Killer Kane. Do you think that Flash and Buck are very much alike? Yep, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> Except your Buck is a Trekker and my Flash is a Star Wars fan. It's always men and their love for science fiction. Indeed, I don't get it. In Buck's spare time, he's always binge-watching Star Trek TV shows and movies that he got from the archives. Why would he want to watch an entertaining franchise involving futuristic space travel while he's living one? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Just looking at a guy putting on an old-fashioned space helmet and jetpack. What's wrong with the jetpack? Well, everybody complains about having their butts on fire. Wait, really? And what do you use to fly? Hovering disc. Hovering what? Hovering disc. More advanced than a jetpack. They are attached to my uniform. I prefer my jetpack, going old school. What about the space helmet? How can you breathe in space? My space goggles has a force field helmet. It shields me from the vacuum of space, and it's full of oxygen. Interesting. Like I said, old school. Well, no school like old school, huh? Ready? Ready when you are, buddy. All right. I'll go first. You two know what to do, right? Right. You right him. You taught him that? Yep, I did. After you, Buck. Thank you, Flash. Hup. I see some of Killer Kane's army sided with Ming. That's one thing about Ming. He's very persuasive. What's the plan, guys? Buddy, you take down most of the army. Flash and I were going after Ming. Got it. Leave Ming to me. Ming is mine. Alright, but you know I have to cover you because that promise I made with Dell, remember? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a dad. If anything happens, you back me up. Got it. Now get ready to land! Major's ready? Ready. Got Good. Flash, I found me. Where is he? On your left. I'll cover you. Thanks, Buck. Ming. Flash Gordon. You are like one of those insects I thought I killed, but there's another somewhere else. You mean a cockroach? Yes, a cockroach. You are a cockroach, Flash. Well, let's make this a fair fight. You are challenging me to a sword duel? For the first time, to the last time, Ming. So defend yourself. Very well, Flash. Alas, my victory is at hand. I may not defeat you in the past, but I can defeat you into the future. There's an old saying, at hell's heart, I stab at thee. Goodbye, Flash Gordon. Ah, my hand! Hold it right there, Con. Hands up! Flash, snap out of it! Huh? What happened? Ming hypnotized you and tried to kill you, so I shot him in the hand. My name is not Khan. I am Ming the Merciless. I don't care if you're a Kardashian. <laughs> what? It's just what you said. Oh, yeah. Kim and her sisters. <laughs> what a bunch of dumbasses. Tell me about it. And by the way, sword fighting? Seriously? Very old school. Buck Flash, congratulations you two on your victory. Thanks, Thanks buddy. buddy. So you want me to take Ming to one of our holding cells? For now, but we're taking him to Saturn. Why? We're taking him back where he belongs. Right. Come with me, Ming. Oh, uh, easy on my hand. You're lucky I don't make it worse. Now come with me, Ming. Androids. 
So, what's your favorite Star Trek, Buck? Deep Space Nine. But I found this one Star Trek series I really like. Star Trek Falcon. Way after your time. It has a female Vulcan captain, and her first officer commander is an android, like Data. All her crew members are all aliens, except her uh, ship's counselor, who's Puerto Rican woman, and their science officer is a British Indian woman. Also, their engineer is a hologram. Cool. I might check it out in the future, maybe. I'm more into Star Wars myself. I enjoy the original trilogy, and Solo, and the, and the Mandalorian. I see. Oh, by the way, I got this for you. Wow. All the Star Wars movies and series, both Blu-ray and DVD, including the ones that hadn't even been made yet? Where did you get these? Got it from the archives. Some old fool thought they were historical documents. Hate to burst his bubble. Thanks, Buck. Hey, Dale, maybe when this is over, you and I can enjoy some Star Wars together. Alright, Flash. But this time I'm dressing up as Leia the Princess. Fair enough. Well, Ming, come with us. I hate this future, but what is Star Trek and Star Wars? You'll know soon enough. Dale, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? The professor said it might be a boy. What do you think of naming him Rick? Rick Gordon. I like it. Dang, and I was going to ask her to name the kid after me. <laughs> oh, Buck. Well, goodbye, Dale. Bye, Wilma. Well, may the force be with you, Flash. Live long and prosper, Buck. Well, glad that's over. Uh, Buck? Yes, Wilma? I've been thinking. How about I come over to your place and watch some Star Trek with you? Well, I'm planning on watching them in my uh, Starfleet outfit. I have an extra one that might fit you, if that's okay with you. Well, okay. But no prosthetics or makeup. <sighs> so much for this green makeup I got. What? Nothing.